I like the challenge of building a larger robot and working with metal and real tools as opposed to just Legos. And I also like how FTC is more focused on the robot game aspect because that was always my favorite part of FLL. What I enjoyed most is you really leveled up what you were doing in terms of interacting with uh, the community, like outreach. It really gave you an opportunity to see things that you may have never experienced before and work with people and use the skills that you may have tried to develop in FLL, those communication skills, uh, through judging, project. In the real world, when you went to go make like connections uh, in the engineering community. So I really like how FTC incorporated more of the outreach aspect because outreach is where, you know, you reach out to the community, you promote first, and you inspire kids and encourage them to join to the STEM field. And I also like how FTC really gave us the opportunity to learn about Java programming and using mechanical parts at, at a young age because those are really key aspects, you know, that you could use in the future. Transitioning from, say, Legos, where you have everything snaps together easily, um, it's very intuitive, um, to something like, I guess, real-world building materials. You got screws and nuts, yeah. and uh, you got to learn like all the nomenclature, all the tools, and uh, different methods of doing everything. Um, so, you know, learning about how to make the Wi-Fi work and learning, back then that was really hard, now it's easier. Um, learning what all the parts do. I, I, I've never been, you know, one who really knew anything. I was just here to, you know, ask questions for the kids. and. So that was a challenge. You kind of have to learn a new engineering style, a new way to, and you have a more of a budget since like, you have to buy usually parts. Yes, it definitely took a lot to get used to because it is, because it is such a big change, but it was so much fun because it's taking everything that you've already fallen in love with in First Lego League and just letting you do more of it. So it was a pretty fun challenge to have. There's this huge social like community in FTC and FRC, of course, but um, everyone kind of knows each other. And what, whereas in FLL, you're kind of doing your own thing and you're isolated and you do your run. And, and in FTC, you get this, um, you get everyone's looking at everyone else because you have to for scouting. And in addition, you make a lot more friends. You make, um, there's, I have like connections from different countries after the World, World Festival just because you have to interact socially, and that's a lot of fun. The robotics companies run out of parts. And so we um, we like to order parts as we need them. And so this year we're trying to be more careful about predicting what parts we'll need. Um, we don't want to over order, but at the same time, there were a couple of times where we were sort of struggling to find servo motors and just different, different kinds of pieces. It was easier than I thought it would be, um, in, in overall, um, and I um, didn't understand the aspects of the sort of the business team nature of FTC as much as I became, became to know it and how important sustainability of your program is. Honestly, the amount, the sheer amount of sensor power was like surprising, like some of the sensors can reach super far away distance. That was super surprising. I was surprised how much teams wanted to share with one another, even though they were competing against each other. Uh, it's surprising also how big the budget is for FTC teams and how much time is spent on the engineering notebook. It's a great growth opportunity for them because they're learning public speaking skills. They're learning how to present themselves in front of professionals, which is more like the job market. So I think that's an excellent opportunity for them. But with First Tech Challenge, now what happens is we became the mentors for First Lego League, uh, and we became kind of more of a role model in the community, which was interesting and weird at the same time. Um, this season, we're introducing social media to our team, which is kind of interesting. But we're trying to figure out what should we be posting and what, should, what kind of conversations should we have. I did like it. Um, the research project was really cool, but I liked that because it isn't part of First Tech Challenge, we are able to go more in depth with other aspects. So when we're doing our community outreach, it isn't necessarily focused on trying to share one solution that we've come up with for some problem. It's more focused on sharing cool things about FIRST as a whole, 
and our robot and just trying to get people more drawn into first. So I like that it just kind of opens up everything you're doing with community outreach. We had a couple people that had to just focus on maybe the outreach um, part or the like business part. So managing uh, the budget and sponsors, which, um, you know, was not a big part of FLL, but it is a massive part of FTC. We actually ran our first tech challenge and our first Lego League teams very, very similar. Like, where everyone is involved with kind of the most core aspects. So the robot and the outreach and all of the other foundational things. And then we just branched out into our interests as we wanted to. So it is a little harder to, to step back. Um, you know, cause you know, adults always think we can do it better. But to me, it's kind of like, it's, it's not easier. It's not, it's just different. Um, so I think we just train the coaches to be more facilitators. You know, in FTC, there's, um, you know, when you're first starting, there's a lot to learn. And so the, 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 the team may need more logistical support in terms of like, how do we get parts? Where do we get money from? You know, cause it's a more expensive program. And so they saw my, my role changing more that way. Um, and then more as a facilitator of connections between the students and industry. So finding people who can teach them. There is some learning and some growth, you know, even for me as a coach, we didn't want to lose the fun parts because FTC can be even more technical than FLL is. But, um, you know, the, the girls, they, they still want snack time. <laughs> they still want their teamwork challenges. And then they want their building time with the robot. They had already been introduced to programming, definitely with EV3, but also at their schools. So they had been introduced to scratch programming, which is very much blocks. It really is blocks. I mean, so they'd already seen that environment before. Um, in fact, what we did is in year one, we took them from straight into Java. Uh, and it kind of felt like throwing them in the deep end of the pool, um, but they ran with it. Uh, Take last year's robot, this past year's robot, we'd have them program it, program an autonomous for it as in learn the process. So that's giving them the opportunity to really use a real robot and a real game and program it in real. So then they're they're kind of ready for how it will be in the upcoming season. So I, I really like the transition because knowing that I could do all this at a really young age, that was really cool to know. Yeah. And then getting, out, getting, uh, getting able to know that Java was something you could use in the future too, it was really exciting. Cool too, like that. So in First Lego League, we did a lot of work just with local communities and other teams and more smaller scale stuff. And when we switched into First Tech Challenge, we of course continued all of that. But we also found a lot of online communities of either veteran teams helping rookie teams or teams of all experience levels getting together to help each other out or teams creating resources for others or just so many different options, both for helping other teams with problems that they're running into and just for socializing with other first people around the globe. And actually another thing that surprised us was a lot of our skills were actually applicable. Yeah. Um, so like in FLL, I mean, you don't learn too much about like structural integrity or stuff like that, but um, you do learn a bit like how to frame stuff. Um, triangles are the best, <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, so you learn the basics there and a lot of that can go over to FDC, which is nice. Shoot, it's just a matter of showing up for practice and everybody continuing to, to work. Well, I guess one of the biggest differences between um, Lego League and FTC is that you have that alliance aspect. Um, and what we really weren't expecting was the fact that we needed to know what everyone else was doing um, in order to like uh, pick them for elimination rounds. Really just know to always keep up with the engineering. You know, we did struggle with that early. We're still slightly struggling with it, but uh, we've gotten a lot better. I think the one most important part would be reaching out to those other teams and getting involved. F just take it easy in FTC, I feel like. It, at first it can be very overwhelming, but like there's so many teams that you could reach out to and they'd be willing to help. I would
would say explore all of your options. So whether that be with software or CAD or build systems or anything, there are so many different directions that you can go with what you're doing and what parts of the program you want to be either most heavily focused on, focusing on or taking a different direction. Coming from FLL, you see all these complicated contraptions like one button will trigger a series of events and you have these huge, ginormous specialized attachments. Whereas in FCC, oftentimes it's just the simplest design that continues to work will win. Uh, and don't get frustrated your first year of FTC because I can promise you it gets better the second year.